Alright, this is our autof. And, uh, this is stone. I found a uh, magnet fishing uh, down in a small side pond in, off the Illinois River a few years back. And here's another smaller one that I found. That one's pretty weak. here it's really got a lot of pool on there so what we're thinking is that uh, these are possible meteorites here I'm gonna go uh, cut a little window here in each one gonna see what the matrix is matrix looks like inside so we can find out I mean they've been stuck in my fridge for a little while so you can see they kind of slightly picked up a magnetic field but that's I don't think it's magnetite so all right we'll give you a weight here on this one tell you how much it weighs I mean, this in here is pretty light, but you can see a lot of the iron looks like it's leaching out of it from the color. So, we shall see. Alright, we'll be back with you in a moment. Alright, this one weighs 41.1 grams. Alright, 9.1. Alright. Alright. We've got the grindstone on here. I know this is not the safest thing to do, but I don't have gloves on. I'm going to be very careful here, so I don't recommend anyone doing this at home. Hopefully I got enough of a flat spot I can start polishing it up here. Alright. Let's go back upstairs. Alright, I mean this gives you an idea of like how much iron is in there. Look at that. See it moving around. But, it's starting to look like something there. Alright. Kind of hard to see.
But there appears to be some uh, dot matrix in there. Get this thing to focus. dots in there so I'm really not 100% sure but it definitely has a high iron content Alright everybody, it's been all tough, I'll take any input. So, so then, looks like a lot of round dots in there and thinking that's what I'm supposed to be looking for. It's definitely super hard. Stuff. Hopefully, uh, we're gonna get some metal detecting in here soon. All right. Till the next time. It's all tough. It's freezing ass cold. I'm just trolling for any arrowheads, but uh, like a glass button here. All right, we'll take that. All right, first button of the year. Our first glass one, anyway, I believe. All right, all tough. Yep, it's all tough. Just like March 11th or 12th. Eh, I mean, a little doll foot here. I have lots of beach to comb. Water's still up pretty high, but I'll run that strip down to there. Maybe something's going to be kicked up. I found this interesting little flake here, but yeah, we'll just put that in the flake bucket. All right, let's see if we can spot anything else. All right, just spotted me a little debuckle here. A brass or something. Definitely looks like it's probably homemade. Uh, yeah, it's forged together here. Alright, neat. That's a neat find. Not much, but it's like a 25D, uh, I think. So we're happy to have her. Ground's a little. Well, a little tough to penetrate still, but oh well, we have to get out. It's like March 10th or 11th today still, so all right, all tough. All right, I guess down here trolling the, my little bit of beach, water's coming up, wind's blown, but I just eyeballed this button. Uh, shank's torn on it a little bit, but I guess this is my uh, happy uh, St. Patrick's Day early reminder here but it's uh Oshkosh Bagosh four leaf clover button oh, that's pretty cool I don't remember having enough clover leaves on the ones I had but alright it's all tough I think St. Patty's Day alright 
here's our wrap up on what's been going on. Here's the little bit of garbage. Rusty nail, pull tabs, two junk buttons. I mean, fighting the the permafrost, which now should be over with. There's our 25D wheat penny. The only coin I found. I mean, I guess that means like a dollar maybe. Uh, my little D buckle. I think that's pretty cool. The doll's foot. I evolved this. Like I'm not sure what it is. A little dipstick or something maybe. I don't know. It's really heavy. Heavy metal. Like a heavy pop metal or something. Um, there's the Oshkosh Bagosh I just picked up today. Yeah, that's pretty neat. St. Patrick stays in another day or so. There's the uh, my little glass button. And, uh, I know that it's kind of a long video here on the on the stone here or the meteorite I guess because I'm pretty sure that's what this is so yeah it's definitely a, a nice little find I'm so all right Thanks for watching, everybody, and uh, hopefully we're going to be back to digging here within the next uh, few weeks. All right, it's been all tough. Thanks for watching.